What is up guys? Welcome back to the Big Bass Theory. As you can see, we're fishing another little neighborhood pond and there's water behind me. Glass right now. So we're definitely gonna get on some top water. It's about 8 a.m. So let's see what we can do. Uh, but this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a fun fishing trip here. So let's see if we can get on something. Gonna try a few new things. So uh, let me get set up, man. We'll see y'all. Uh, we'll see y'all out there. All right, guys. So first thing we're using a little black filthy frog here. A lot of uh, grime, I guess you can call it, on top of this water. I don't know if you can see it. But there's a lot of it. Okay, so we're going with the Yozuri Yo uh, 3DB Frog Popper. Seeing if we can't entice a bite on this. So what I'm doing on this one is cast it out where I know there's cover underwater and I just give it a pop and I let it sit and rinse and repeat. Might change up the, the, the pop cadence here a little bit and give it a couple here and there. Good thing about this is it does work open water as well. Water is really low here. I'd say at least a foot. All right, guys, so we changed it up a little bit, took a little break, decided to try a few different things. So here is what I'm most interested in trying. This is a Strike King Perfect Plastic with coffee scent and salt. I don't smell the coffee. You know, maybe a little bit, kind of smells like a Frappuccino. But it's a tequila, tequila Sunrise color, so it's purple on that side, and then it's like a June bug almost with red flake in it. Super cool worm. Definitely can't wait to try that out. That is the KVDs from Strike King. So we're definitely gonna try that. I'm just throwing it weightless. So on a five odd hook, you can see it's pretty big too. It's a six inch worm. So it's pretty big. This here, guys, is the, where is the bag for it? Here it is. Bass Pro Shop Crack Crawl. So not the Kraken Crawl, but 
I'm throwing it on a Ned rig. Um, I ripped a little bit of its head off there to get a, just a you know, smaller profile. And it's got two appendages there, two appendages right after those, and then four arms. And this thing is a very nice color. So you got like a pearl on the bottom, and then I don't know what you call that on the top. They're calling it green pumpkin magic pearl. So it's more of a yellow than a green pumpkin. So let's pick up green pumpkin chartreuse mix almost. Definitely going to try that out. And this is a uh, new jerkbait that I haven't tried. This is does not have a brand on it. I want to say this is also Smithwick is what it says on the lure. Um, it's, it's suspending rogue, so well suspending jerk bait. See if we can't get anything on that, like a baby bass color. So we'll get on those guys and, and we'll see what we can do. Let's just try to swim it like a crankbait. I'll throw a jerk in there every now and then. Swim it right through that grass there. Alright guys, let me know down in the comments how you fish your jerk baits. Uh, definitely not too big on jerk baits myself, so let me know down in the comments below. And we're gonna go back to the trusty Ned rig on this new crack crawl from Bass Pro Shop. Now, I have not tried this out before. This is the first time I've used it. <coughs> so let's see if we can't get on something here. So it's kind of like a uh, brush hog. There we go. There we go. There's one. So. Nice little dirty little bass there for you hook sets right here so that's exactly how you want to hook them that's for sure it's not a bad bass there he's a little dirty but before I was interrupted by that fish like I was saying It is just a little brush hog style with these guys on here, but it's got the, the wavy tail and the arms, and as you can see, it catches fish. All right, guys, so real quick, here's the two different Ned rigs that I'm using, so. Adjust the camera here. So you got this one here. It says the wire keeper on the back, on the back of it. And then you got this one, this is the one I'm using, that has this. So this is holding it on pretty well. It's a little ribbed so it doesn't come out too easily. But some plastics it does tear up, so. Um, so far it's holding the straw pretty well. Alright guys, that's it for me today. I am off to work. If you liked the video, smash the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, we got a lot more content coming. 
a, a, a mystery tackle box opening again in probably three weeks. Um, we got a monster tackle box on its way, hopefully soon. Another monster tackle box next month as well. So hopefully we'll have those around the same time. And we're going to be doing another tackle box review of what is inside my girlfriend's tackle box. So if you're out there fishing with your lady and you want to see uh, what we're using, what she's using, that helps her catch fish, tune into that video. It will be um, posted hopefully this week. Uh, and again, guys, I do appreciate y'all watching. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.